Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy because it took some time for me as well. But I wanted my marriage to last. So I renewed mine under God's word and not my own. Now, at this time, we're going to read some scriptures and take some questions. See, this is the problem. He thinks he's the only man that can treat me good. He doesn't realize that he's the only man that I want to treat me good. I didn't tolerate that kind of behavior from any other man that I dated. So why does he act like he saved me? I don't know. Now, Jay, I heard you say that you don't abuse him. But did you know that when you speak to him in a disrespectful tone, that is a form of abuse, the words you say? She talks to me in a kind of way. So what am I supposed to do? Just sit there and take it like a little child? My mother doesn't even talk to me like that. It goes both ways. Both of you guys play a part in this. Now y'all have to learn to stop fighting against each other and start fighting for one another. Who's there to fight for? I mean, he only sees us in supporting one of his goals and dreams or more aptly called get rich teams. <laughs> what I'm about to say. Both of you guys play a part in this. Now y'all have to learn to stop fighting against each other and start fighting for one another. Now, Simone, you may not like what I'm about to say, but in your marriage, there's give or take. Now, you, have, you might have to submit in this season if your husband's goals are a little bit closer to reach than yours. See, I can't believe you're saying this, First Lady, and in front of him. I mean, what and once you've already committed, you're already in sin. You've already committed that sin. That's why you have to be a Romans 12 and 2 man. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now, you have to do this daily. It ain't going to come easy, and it's not going to come overnight. So I don't want you to put that pressure on yourselves. But also, do you know there's scripture that says that as a husband, we can hinder our prayers? I know y'all looking at me like, man, I have no idea what pastor talking about. I'm getting ready to show you in the word. Brother Jay, I need you to open up your Bible. Turn to 1 Peter 3 and 5, please. You read that scripture for me, will you please? Husbands, in the same way. Show consideration for your wives in your life together, paying honor to the woman as the weaker sex, since they too are also heirs of the gracious gift of life, so that nothing may hinder your prayers. That's what I'm talking about. Just what he just said. Your prayers have been hindered. You wonder why no blessings haven't been coming over the course of your years? That scripture just told you why. You have to be crucial in treating your wife right. You don't treat your wife right, don't expect any of your prayers to get answered. It's just not going to happen. And let me just be transparent right now. When me and First Lady came together, 